What's up, everyone? This is all destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. HD. Last time, we finished traversing through the Palace of Twilight, and we fought against Zant. We were victorious, and Zant is defeated, but we have other problems that we need to deal with. His master, Ganondorf, has already seized control over Hyrule Castle. And it's our job to go put a stop to him and rescue Zelda. In this episode, we are not going to go and do that. Instead, we have a lot of things that we need to go through first before we head off to Hyrule Castle. This episode is going to be dedicated to getting the rest of the heart pieces that we haven't gotten yet, alongside the Miiverse stamps and the pose that we also have not yet attained. We aren't going to get every single one of the Miiverse stamps and the pose in this episode, simply because there are some that are in Hyrule Castle, and as well as other places that we won't be getting into this time. But... For the next few episodes, we're going to be focusing on everything else that the game has to offer and getting the rest of the collectibles. So, first things first is getting the rest of the heart pieces, of which there are two. The first is here in the Sacred Grove. There was a place here that we bombed earlier, and a Poe showed up. However... There's also this spot that we can dig. And it's actually a hidden grove. A lot of venomous Dekubabas here. In fact, I could probably be regular link for this. So go ahead and... Yeah. Oh, I thought he actually got me. Whatever. Just get rid of him. Good to go. There's also one on the ceiling. Where's my boomerang? There's my boomerang. Am I too far away? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. How did that even work? Whatever. There's still plenty of these things. And thankfully, the gale boomerang... I mean, yeah, it will just deal with them no matter what. Not just those that are on the roof, but also just those on the ground as well. Okay, now I can go kill you. And if you'd be so kind as to get down here so I can kill you, that'd be great. Alright, so with all the venomous, or vicious, they're not really venomous. The vicious Deku Bob is downed, the chest appears. And the chest has... Take a guess, I already said what it would have. A piece of heart! So now all it leaves is one more piece of heart that is somewhere in Hyrule. And that is our next destination. Our other heart piece is here at the spring at Lake Hylia. Now, I thought for sure that I'd gotten this one. But, if we go over this way, there should be some sort of... Aha! There was something that I missed. And over here, we have a few mini chests, as well as some lantern... Well, well, light spots. <laughs> I guess they would be lanterns. So we go and light these with our lantern. And a magical chest of wonders appears. And in this chest is our final heart piece. I thought there was a heart piece here at the spring. I just don't know why I didn't see that that wasn't a door before. But there we go. That is the final heart piece. And now we have 
a full life meter, 20 hearts. And also in this room, we got five rupees and bombs. So a few extra things, but that is the, those are the remaining heart pieces. So now it's time to steal us some souls. <laughs> So, our first destination for these Poe souls is right here at the Gerudo Desert. You can see that there's a bunch of skulls here, over towards the northwest corner. And it's guarded by a Poe. So let's go ahead and take a soul. And by the way, I am doing uh, the most of the rest of this episode doing post commentary. So do keep that in mind. Now, there was that one Poe there, but you can see there's this digging spot by these three skulls. And a bunch of rocks that I try to proceed with bombs. That doesn't work. So yes, there are a few Poes that are situated here in this little area right here. And... <laughs> well, at least I got the soul. So yeah, so there are a few more Poes that are in this general area. So you're still going to want to come down here just for that. In addition, this grotto does have something else of worth for us. So if we blow up these rocks... You can see that there are some lights for us to light up. So we take our lantern, we light these torches, just go up here and like that, and then behind these rocks, there's a third, and a magical chest of wonders appears. So what is in this magical chest of wonders that we have appeared? A Meaver stamp for the sad Midna stamp, aww. Now, we will be going and getting the rest of these me stamps, but we're mostly going to come to those later. So, back to the Poe hunting. Our next spot takes us back here to where we last fought Bulbin. In that room, there is now a Poe that shows up. And that's a creepy face for the Poe. And that's all there really is in this area. So, on to the next one. Over here, close to where we entered the Gerudo Desert, there is another Poe. And I'm pretty sure we went in that area, but it was during the daytime and the Poe wasn't here. Now that it's night, we can take his soul. Yeah. And that is all of the, ow, Poe's here in the Gerudo Desert. Our next destination is in the Hidden Village. I'm not sure if this is just after you come here the first time or after you actually bring Ilya's memory back. But at least after that point, there's a Poe that shows up here that you need the claw shot for. And that's the only Poe in this area as well. Our next spot is over here at Northern Hyrule Field. There's this little patch here that we can dig. And here, there are two more powers, as well as a ton of dig bombs. Ow. So yeah, just a couple more posts for us to take care of. Thankfully, uh-oh. This is not gonna end well for anyone. And yet it does. It ends pretty well for us. So yeah, gotta avoid the Deku Babas a little bit, and then take the Posol. Now unfortunately, there's nothing else here. I actually took out the rest of the Deku Babas, but there's nothing that spawns for getting rid of them. The next destination is here at East Hyrule Field, close to Lake Hylia. We came here before because there was a spot that we could dig. But if we wait until nighttime, 
Poe shows up. So there's another Poe here that we just simply missed just because we didn't come here at the right time of day. But we got it now. The next destination is back in the Sacred Grove, where we got the Master Sword. There is now a Poe that shows up here. Not sure when exactly he spawns, but he's here. We are now in the mountains, where basically on our ascent, there are a few Poes around the area, such as being here, Relatively close to where the uh, relatively close to where we dig to where the Yetis live. Also, this area is really annoying to get through because of all the stupid ice enemies. So that's one Poe taken care of. And normally I transition to the next one, but the next Poe is actually within sight. Just jumping off the cliff and getting past these or See, that's why one of the many reasons why I don't like ice wolves. That being another one. But yes, there's another po right by this area where we can dig. So yeah, another po soul. Uh, the area there only contains a bunch of ice enemies as well as a chest with 100 rupees. So nothing really much of worth in this grotto. Our next Poe takes us close to where the Yetis are. You do have to get far enough away to transform into Wolf Link. Or maybe you could just go behind him. I didn't bother to check that. But up across this spiral uh, mound, there's another Poe. So just pull him down and take an soul. Yay. There's also a few places where you can dig up here, and you can get a fair amount of money from up here, which I proceed to do. Our last pole, Poe, excuse me, takes us back to the graveyard. There was a Poe here earlier, but there's another Poe here if you come here at night and move this grave. This Poe shows up. So all we gotta do is not get hit by him and steal his soul, just like all the others. And that's the last post soul, well, that we're gonna get in this episode anyway. For our Miiverse stamps, our first destination is here at Western Hyrule Field, close to the bridge to Castletown and the bridge to Southern Hyrule Field. There's a grotto with some chew jellies and these things, which are incredibly annoying to take out in wolf form. That I try in vain to try to really do. It doesn't work. Much as I try. They're actually really annoying to take out, too. So if we're gonna take them out, wait for them to stop and shoot them with a bow. You don't have to take them out, but it makes lighting those, uh, lamp spots easier if you don't have to deal with them running around. But really, all you gotta do is just take your lantern and light those two up. And a magical chest of wonders appears. So what's in this magical chest of wonders? The Miiverse stamp for the Hylian letter C. You'd be surprised at how many of these different types of stamps are just really littered about. Also, I do go back for that chest, but this is also a spot where you can scoop up worms into your bottles. I can only assume that's useful for fishing, because I can't think of any other reasons why that would be useful. But in that small chest, you get 50 rupees as well. Our next spot takes us back to Northern Hyrule Field. Way over here, behind these grates, is a chest. And this chest contains the Miiverse stamp for the Hylian letter F. 
kind of out of the way, but still a place that you should keep in mind. Still in Northern Hyrule Field, there is a spot where we can dig and access a grotto. In this one, there are a bunch of chew jellies. Mostly red, blue, and purple. Though I imagine the rare chews could also conceivably show up. You don't have to take out these chew jellies. I do. I noticed the chest, but I still do it anyway. Just in case hey, something else could have shown up, but I kind of doubt it. But the most important thing here is the chest, which contains the Miiverse stamp for the Hylian letter I. And some more chews if you really want them. Still in Northern Hyrule Field, at the northern end of it, we're close to the stream where you come from Zora's Domain. Or maybe it's just Upper Zora's River. But there is another grotto. This one filled with Skullchillas. Now this is one where it's pretty obvious what you need to do, but is a lot easier just to take out the Skullchillas first. Because there's quite a few places where you are going to need to use the lantern. But with so many Skullchillas, it can be kind of annoying to try to light up all the spots. If you're having to deal with half a dozen Skullchillas chasing after you. So yeah, I take out most of the Skullchillas. At least the ones in these two sections. I don't bother with the third section. Really, all you have to do is light up those two spots, like this one over here. And yet another magical chest of wonders appears. So what's our reward for this one? If I can get around this stupid edge. The Miiverse stamp for the Hylian letter P. So now let's try to go to someplace new. Over at the Gerudo Desert, not far from the Gerudo Mesa, there is this pea hat that you can claw shot to. It's also annoying because it goes really slow and there are like sandworms that are bared that will constantly chase after you. But you claw shot to the pea hat, go over here to this chest, and it contains the Miiverse stamp for the Hylian letter R. And Link's really obsessed about, about that pea hat. Well, anyway. Over here in Lake Hylia, right by the cave where we had to bomb all those sections, there's actually a, no a grotto right outside of that cave. With a bunch of aquatic enemies that shoot rocks at us. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to use the bow for this one, since this is one where you have to go and kill all the enemies. Those are at least easy enough to take out, but there are some that are just kind of far away. Though you could conceivably just swim to the other side to get their attention. I figured it would just simply be easier just to do manual targeting. Of course, manual targeting in water is not the best of ideas, but hey, it works. And by taking out all those dangerous fish, we spawn a magical chest of wonders. So, what is the Miiverse stamp for this section? It's the Miiverse stamp for the Hylian letter S. Now let's get out of here before the those hornets chase after us. Back over at the Sacred Grove, the first time where we fought Skull Kid, there's this section where we can use the spinner to grind over. This area actually has a lot of secrets in it. But over here is a chest. And inside this chest is the Miiverse stamp for the Hylian letter X. So yeah, it's very interesting that there's so many things just in this one room. Over towards the Bridge of Elden, right close to the bridge, there's this brown spot of dirt that we can dig through. And here, there's just a chest over there. 
Although, admittedly, in the water, you can see I'm being cautious, but for good reason. There are bomb fish here. As well as, I'm pretty sure, just some piranhas as well. But you don't need to kill them, and for claiming the chest, we get the sad link stamp. Oh. Again, you don't really need to kill the enemies. I kind of do just to try to get back, but we're just gonna skip ahead. Over at Southern Hyrule Field, close to the transition over to the Ordona province, is another place for us to dig through. This grotto is one that we could have very easily gotten close to the beginning of the game, since it's just simply filled with rats, keys, and regular Dekubamas. Again, you don't really need to take out the enemies, it's just kind of easier to take care of them. But for just getting over to the other side, there is a chest. And the chest contains the Miiverse stamp for Wolf Link. So yeah, nice easy stamp that you could get very early on. And there's also a mini chest over here in the corner. And this mini chest has 10 rupees. Meh. Nice little reward. And our final Miiverse stamp takes us back over to the Ordona Ranch. Inside the goat barn, close to the mailman, and yes, you can transform pretty close to him. Plus him doing kind of unscrupulous things. There's actually a place for us to dig. Which is kind of surprising, because it's in the middle of a barn, but whatever. This barn actually hides out. It hides a grotto filled with Rats, keys, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, a couple of chew jellies as well. But you don't need to take out the enemies. Also, a crap ton of pots. Holy crap, there's a lot of pots here. But this is another one of those grottos where all you have to do is just light up all these spots. And a magical chest of wonders appears. So, what is this last Miiverse stamp? Let's put away our lantern first, and we can claim the Miiverse stamp for the Happy Link stamp! <sighs> so that is it! Those are the last of the Miiverse stamps. So let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, that gets me every time. And with that, we've completed everything. That's all of the heart pieces, all the pose, and all of the Miiverse stamps that we can currently get. Now, you'll notice that for the Miiverse stamps, we are actually missing quite a few of them. We're missing nine of these Miiverse stamps. Well, one of them is found by completing the Poe quest. So we need to gather the rest of the Poes. Two of them are found in Hyrule Castle. So we won't be able to get those until we actually traverse through the final dungeon. One we don't get until we get all the other Meaver stamps. And the other five, as well as the remaining Poe souls, are found here at the Cave of Ordeals. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. We've gotten all the collectibles that we can right now, so that's all of our globe trotting taken care of. But we've got a trial to get through. Two of them, in fact. But we'll be taking on the first of these trials next time. So until then, everyone, take care.